friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a very hard cataract nuclear sclerosis in this case is grade 5 plus we can call it cataracta nigra let us observe this surgery this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus this is a side port on the right side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision about 2 and a half clock hours away and now i want to stain the anterior capsule of this cataract with trypan blue dye underneath this air bubble here goes trypan blue 0.06% dye and now i'm going to apply little bit of adrenaline this may help if the people tends to constrict i will be in great problem in this case the dye is nicely washed out and in this case i'm going to use 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose as the viscoelastic substance yes visco has been applied nicely and i apply the visco over the cornea and this will improve visibility and now is the time to do capsulorexis we have to do an adequate sized rexis in this case so we have to give quality time for this rexis we cannot hurry up a capsular tag has been raised and now i take the ureta forceps go to periphery guide the capsular tag all around very slowly and in a very much controlled way and here i want to go to further periphery to make the erexis of adequate size so this has been a very nice erexis it's not round we can call it it is oval erexis and now hydro dissection the posterior lip of the main wound is depressed some visco comes out and then some fluid is injected underneath the anterior capsular rim the nucleus is stabbed again some fluid is injected and now we find that the nucleus is rotating very nicely in this case there is no epineucleus the epineucleus and nucleus has been together the epineucleus has been incorporated into the nucleus and now for this hard cataract i am exposing the tip the exposed part has been increased because i want to deliver more ultrasonic energy into the lens mass and what i am going to use is submarine chalk the nucleus is pushed little down and the teeth goes into the substance of the nucleus totally goes through the nucleus and see the chopper it is just supporting and gradually moving forward not like the woodcutter's technique where you place the chopper at the opposite equator here we support the chopper so that the lens mass doesn't come up and gradually go to the other side we have made a very nice crack the nucleus is almost divided into two parts the two heminuclei are not of equal size this is the larger heminuclei 
I'm going to make it I'm going to divide it into three pieces and this is one piece yes it is totally free this piece now I come to this mass and I am going to divide it into two pieces thus the heminucleus has been divided into three pieces I rotate come to the other heminucleus this heminucleus is small I just chop it on so it has been divided into two pieces and now I know that the pieces are not free so I have to come out before that I'm just making some room for the chopper and the Sinsky hook to work now I inject visco again 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now I'm going to use my chopper Mohanta's chopper in my left hand Sinsky hook in the right hand and I find I find that this small heminucleus is free so I turn it tilt this heminucleus and bring its apex at the center and now I inject visco and now again I'm going to decrease the exposed part of the tip because I'm going to emulsify the fragments now I don't need much of ultrasonic energy at this time from the very beginning I'm using 450 vacuum 45 fluorate and 85 percent ultrasonic energy the ultrasound is in continuous mode but I am using the ultrasound intermittently not continuously yes this small heminucleus with two fragments have been emulsified and now I turn the bigger heminucleus with three pieces the pieces are still attached to each other I try to tilt it but it was not possible so I have an idea I come out inject visco inject visco behind and now I take my chopper blunt chopper go behind this mass and lift it off tent it use the Sinsky from above and it is done all the pieces are free and now I go again with the tip of the FECO needle and start emulsifying these three fragments here it is I'm working always at the iris plane and the chopper is helping the fake on a deal in many ways and this is the last fragment at this time I ask my assistant to decrease the vacuum to 300 fluorate 30 power remains same 85 percent and very gradually very slowly I start emulsifying this fragment I'm placing the chopper behind to protect the posterior capsule and I'm emulsifying the pieces at iris plane yes it is done 
so the nucleus epinucleus complex has been nicely managed visco has been injected again now by the time my assistant gets ready with by manual she first offers me this instrument this is a 23 gauze simco and with this instrument i'm um, removing the cortex from one o'clock to eight o'clock yes and now the rest of the cortex I'm going to ease the bimanual irrigation aspiration. The irrigation goes through the right side port, aspiration through the left, and here it is. Cortical cleanup is being done very nicely. The sub incisional cortex and the cortex from nine o'clock to twelve o'clock and now this is a monofocal single piece intraocular lens and the lens is placed in the capsular bag this is called hydro implantation we keep the anterior chamber formed by hydro that is bss and the lens is placed in the capsular bag since there is no visco in the anterior chamber in the capsular bag we have saved a lot of time and now the side ports are closed corneal stroma on either side of the side ports are hydrated and these stab incisions get closed and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber at this time, whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out. Now here it is. The antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. The integrity of the wounds are checked, few drops of moxie is applied and the case is concluded. This is some post op pictures after 24 hours. Antichamber is quiet, intraocular pressure is normal, vision is 6 by 9. And see how clear the cornea is. And I have used only 2% ASPMC. This is the beauty of submarine job. You deliver all the ultrasound energy inside the lens mass, and the cornea remains clear like this. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Wish not it were easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenges. Wish for more wisdom. Thank you very much for your attention.